Hello. In this tutorial, you'll be learning how to create a new page in the Greyhound Pet site and how to organize new pages as child pages. First, log into your WordPress dashboard and on the left hand side menu, find a link that says Pages. Click on it and you'll be brought to this view that will show you all the current pages that exist on the site. Next, to create a new page, click the button at the top that says Add New. Now that we're on the new page, first you'll need a title for this page. For this tutorial, I'll be naming my page Sample Page. Next, we'll be activating the Beaver Builder features for this page. Next to the Text Editor tab, click on the Inactive tab that says Beaver Builder. You'll then be directed to the Beaver Builder view of the new page. From here, you can actually start building widgets like text boxes and images and so on in this view. All that can be done by dragging over what type of content you want to include from the right menu directly onto the page. Here I am dragging over a text widget and adding sample copy. I'm also adding an image by pressing on the plus button to access the right menu again and dragging over a photo box. I'm okay with this for now, so I'll be clicking Done. We'll be given a choice to publish this page outright to make it live, or to save it as a draft so it stays private. It's almost always a good idea to save it as a draft until you're completely certain it's ready to be seen by the public. Now we'll be heading back to the basic Edit Page view. At the top gray bar, Click in the item that says Edit Page with the icon of a pencil next to it. You'll notice now that the text editor has been completely replaced by an active Beaver Builder tab. You'll be using its big blue button to access the Beaver Builder tool to make changes. For the next part of the tutorial, I'll be walking you through the concept of child pages and setting up a page as a child page. Child page is just a way of giving pages in WordPress a hierarchy by organizing related pages together. When pages are created, this isn't set up, so you have to remember this so that your site will be organized and easy to navigate on the back end. On the right side of the Edit Page view, find Page Attributes and click on the drop down under the title Parent. You'll see a list of all the pages on the site organized as parent and child pages. Parent pages are flush with the left side of the dropdown, and child pages are indented. For this tutorial, I'll be making sample page a child of the about section. Next, if the page hasn't been published already, I'll be confirming these changes by clicking the save draft on the top right. Otherwise, the blue button will also do this, but will make it public if it wasn't public already. For this tutorial, I'll decide to update this and make the page live. Now let's check to see it in effect by heading to pages on the left hand side of the dashboard. When I scroll down you can see sample page being designated as a child of the about section because it is now below about and has a dash by its name. 